think it's C.K. Chesterton said, it's not that Christians have been tried and found lacking, but we have found it difficult and there's a whole lot of lack of trying. The scripture from Galatians is a classic baptismal scripture. In Christ Jesus, we are washed, our sins are washed away, we, we die in the waters of baptism and we come up, but in the waters of baptism we are made one in Christ, and Christ is what matters. There's neither Greek or Jew, male or free man, female, free or slave, Republican or Democrat, liberal, progressive, straight, gay, whatever. We are one in Christ. When we judge other Christians, we judge our brothers and sisters. And Paul is in the midst of it. His whole ministry is bringing the Gentile people to Christ. And he has to continue to struggle with the judgmentalness of the lifelong Episcopalians who have always done it this way. And then these new people coming into church, they even may sit in my pew. And they want to change things. And Paul was the king of change. He was rewriting their whole understanding of what Christians, who Christians were, and what Christians do. It has taken us so long, we get so tired of this inclusivity and all of this, but it's because we've been living in exclusivity most of our lives. Even clicks. I can't tell you how many churches we've taken. We've got other churches together. Let's get our youth groups together. So we all gather together. My church youth group is huddled together over here. The other church group is huddled together over there. We are naturally drawn to people like ourselves. It is unnatural. For us to reach out beyond our borders. And those borders can be personalities, socioeconomic, religious. But Jesus is always erasing those borders. What was he drawing in the sand? When the Pharisees wanted to throw stones at the person they caught in adultery? Maybe he was erasing some more barriers. Paul is calling us to erase those barriers. Not only erase them, but to embrace others that are not like us. And for generations, we have constantly failed at doing that. But slowly, ever so slowly, we begin to understand that in Christ Jesus, in Jesus Christ, we're all brothers and sisters. We need to learn to see one another as Jesus. Paul says, I want to know nothing but Christ in you. And that's hyperbole because I think it's important that we learn to know each other. But always see each other as the image of God. Always see each other as that person was worth God dying on the cross to save. And he did die for the sins of the whole world, not just Episcopalians, Presbyterians, Methodists, but Muslims, Buddhists, uh, all the world. Jesus died, gave his life for each of those individuals. Let's remember that. Let's live into what Paul is saying. Let's not be found lacking, but found trying. And when you get to the end of your road of trying, Ask God to help you go a little further. Please listen. The epistle this morning is from the Bush of Galatians. <clears throat> now before faith came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. Therefore the law was our disciplinarian until Christ came, so that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer subject to a disciplinarian. For in Christ Jesus, 
you are all children of God through faith. As many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves within Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male and female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to 